standing in front of this only building that has been standing here for 2,000 years. We can see the wall is built of the exact same uh, method as was built the western wall of the Temple Mount, as was built by Herod, the same person who built uh, many other things in, in Israel, Caesarea, Masada, the Herodian. Here we are in this building that is standing in one piece. It is standing over a big grave, the big cave where Abraham purchased the cave and the land. If we recall in the stories described in the book of Genesis, Ephron, who tries to get, receive from Abraham more money, he insists that Abraham buy not only the cave, but the land around it. And here we see this building is built on caves. We can see the outside caves over here. But the cave itself, where Abraham is buried, is right actually under the corner over here. Uh, right above where I'm standing is the hall called the, the, uh, the Hall of Isaac. But under it, we know now for a fact, is the double cave, Merat HaMachpelah. Why do I say that we know for a fact? Because uh, two people, or actually uh, two times, people entered uh, through secret entrances. It was once in 1967 a little girl named Michal who was lowered down on a rope through a small little hole. She climbs down, she walks through this very dark tunnel and she f photographs whatever she sees and then they understand the shape of the area. She finally gets, climbs up some stairs, she counts it several times. When she climbs up, she counts 15 stairs. When she climbs down, she counts 16 stairs. But she gets back up, and we know this, the, what it looks like. In 1981, a group of students from the yeshiva, in, in an unbelievable way, climbed down another entrance to that same place, and they get deeper than she gets, and they reach themselves inside a cave where they find remnants of clay vessels from the time of King David and they see there also bones of bodies. They're shocked and they come back up and they tell, they, they, they tell the story. The vessels that they found there are presented in the museum in Kirarba, but the story of the double cave, they saw it with their own eyes. And this building, which throughout history was used in the Muslim times as mosaic, as mosques in the Christian times as church today serves the Jewish people once again came back home to their parents Abraham and Sarah Isaac and Rebecca Jacob and Leah all three sets of parents of patriarchs Matri, are all buried right over here for several years they didn't the Muslims did not allow the Jews inside the building. It was the famous, the famous seven stairs that they were allowed to climb up. They climbed up the famous seven stairs. They did not allow them into the building. Those seven stairs are actually right over here. They allowed the Jews to climb up to the seventh stair. The seventh stair was right over here. It is the closest place where we can get to where the actual graves are. The actual cave of Merat HaMachpila. This takes place when the Mamluks conquest the state of Israel, the land of Israel, and they do not allow access of Jewish people into the building. They only allow them to stay, stand right over here on the seventh stair. And here we are right now standing where Jews for several centuries, from the 13th century all the way through the 20th century, could only stand right over here. Only in 1967, when the Jewish people returned back home, 
And the chief rabbi of the army, Rabbi Gorin, was the first Jew to place a Israeli flag on the tomb of the patriarchs on Marat HaMachpelah. And from then, ever since 1967, access of Jews to the building has been once again reassured. And here we are, stepping on history. 4,000 years of history, ever since God promised Abraham the land, but he promised it wouldn't come in, in ease. It wouldn't be so simple. Abraham had to find a way to pay, to pay a very high amount to buy a plot for his wife Sarah. But that was the plot where Abraham showed the way for his descendants. We are promised to get the land of Israel, but we have to work for it. He bought the plot, and ever since then we buy land in Israel. Even though the land was promised to us, we buy it. We are determined to come back home. The Jewish people have come back home to their roots. Shalom from the city of Hebron. Today, we followed in the footsteps. Hey! Ma shlomcha, Rav Maimon? Bechvodo v'atzmo. Tzvika Maimon. Kol ha'aman, kol ha'amin, nifla. Ma yinim? Oh, ta'ad v'nai lo yinu melech ha'olam shechiyano v'kimano v'giyano v'zman hazeh. Amen. Shai, Baruch Hashem. Ta yada shabachur zeh lamaditi bakita, mi kita hei ad kita chet. Ad kita yud, ani chushu shta azam. Tet, ani adabdi tet, ad saf tet, nachon, ad saf tet. כן, ברוך השם, אתה פה עם קבוצה מניצן? לא, אנחנו מכל הארץ, המשפחה של אשתי, הבן שלה מניח תפילין היום. אה, באמת? כן. איזה יופי, מזל טוב. מזל טוב. המשפחה של הרב לוינגר. כן, כן, הבנתי. כן, כן, כן. יפה מאוד. טוב, איזה יופי. עושים סרט? כן, משהו כזה, כן. אז here we can see, here it's צבי. צבי was a classmate of mine in elementary school. But he, today, is coming with his son. For bar mitzvah. And we see the Jewish people are connected to this 4,000 years of history. Jews from all over the world come over here to connect to our roots where they first began. We saw today where Abraham actually lived. We saw the story of purchasing the plot. We went through King David who begins his kingdom here in Hebron and we continued to see the cemetery which showed more than anything how the history of the Jewish people was here for several, several centuries. We, we went through the suffering of the people of, and the battle of Sarah Nachshon to bury her son Avraham. We saw Rabbi Shlomo Ra'anan's daughter, who's still living here. And we saw that Jewish life is flourishing here once again after 3,000 years. And we see right over here this 2,000 year old building, which is built on that grave, on that cave of our forefathers and the Jewish existence is here. Throughout history we have had several other nation, nations, the Babylonians, the Romans, the Persians, the Greek, the Mamluks, the Muslims and the Christians, the, the Byzanti, Byzantines, we've, we've, we've seen the Turks and the Brits, but only the Jewish people are back home to their homeland. Here in Hebron, where it all began, where Abraham begins the story of the Jewish people. The Jewish people are back home to Hebron. Shalom.